Hello everyone and welcome to Top of Mind. One of the greatest things about being at Gartner is the opportunity to present Gartner's opening keynote at IT Symposium Expo. And this year, I get to co-write and co-present the opening keynote together with my friend and colleague, Hung LaHong. This year's keynote is on AI, and it builds on last year, which was all about understanding what generative AI did and where the opportunities lay for every enterprise. This year, leadership teams and boards have spent all year asking, what are we doing with AI? What are we doing with AI? And we've been encouraging them to modify that to ask, what is your AI ambition? Do you want to put AI in front of your customers? Or do you only want to use it internally? Do you want to be an AI everywhere organization and deploy it for competitive advantage? Or merely for internal productivity? This year, CIOs are feeling major pressure to execute and deliver on some of that hoped for ROI. The hype around AI is real and expectations are sky high. Some leaders are getting impatient. So this year's keynote will focus on what you need to actually do to turn AI potential into real AI value. And it turns out that executing on AI is hard. Some of it is hard because execution is always hard. And some of it is hard because it's AI. The trick here is to bring all the conversations around execution into one place. From a business leader point of view, their center of gravity is mostly around business outcomes. They're looking for higher productivity and shorter cycle times and interesting new applications of AI and new products and new services. In terms of technology, they kind of hope the technology outcomes will take care of themselves. And most business leaders don't like thinking too much about the details of the tech required to execute. They don't want to hear much about AI-ready data and AI-ready technology. On the other hand, technology leaders care mostly about technology outcomes. It's not like they ignore business outcomes, but their center of gravity is around resolving the technology and data questions related to AI. And then you have legal, asking what, if what we're doing is legal and advisable, and on and on. So the activities and the conversations required to scale AI are fragmented across the enterprise, which just makes it a lot harder to execute. One critical step is to ensure those conversations are all happening or at least being managed in one place. Then there are things that make scaling AI hard just because it's hard, just because it's AI. One key thing we'll be talking about in the keynote is understanding the depth of change you're creating with AI. Are you asking employees to change some of their tasks? Like when AI productivity software summarizes a meeting and takes notes? Or are you changing someone's job? Like when a marketing team starts using an AI tool to come up with marketing campaigns and images and copy and advertising ideas. You need different change efforts. And you need to think big. One of the things that Gen AI has done is to make creativity cheap and abundant. What does that do to a department like marketing? If you think holistically about what marketing does, AI doesn't change a few tasks and summarize a few meetings and provide a transcript for those meetings. It reinvents the way marketing does marketing. So a more fundamental rethink is required. So at a minimum, there are two things to bear in mind when trying to execute AI. One is to ensure that all the outcomes are managed in one place, the business outcomes and the technology outcomes. The other is to evaluate what the depth of change is that you're bringing about. Is it a few tasks? Deep business process reinvention, like in the marketing example? Maybe the whole business model for a whole company? That'll reorient how you approach the change and where you focus. Final thing to bear in mind. When we talk to clients about AI, it's clear that the change challenge with AI scaling is harder, bigger, and longer than with conventional technology implementations. So when you're budgeting for change management, a good rule of thumb 
is that if the implementation takes about 100 days, then it'll require another 100 days, at least, to manage the change. It's not trivial. You can hear more at Gartner IT Symposium Expo, taking place in eight locations around the world. We have a link below to register and learn more. See you there.